Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Trish. This is a Gatsby. And if you're new, I make new videos every single week, or at least I try to. Um, and if you've been following me for a while, then you would know that my first video ever here was actually a Bible talk video. So if you haven't seen it yet, then definitely subscribe, and I'll link that video somewhere up here. But today's video is also going to be another Bible talk. Um, I like these videos because I get to share my faith with you guys, and I also get to get to know you guys and I hope relate to some of you in some way so today's video is going to be all about self-love and it, I could go on a tangent on this but I'm really gonna try to keep it short simple and sweet So I'm guilty of this too, but often we look for our strength and our confidence through the way we look. And don't get me wrong, I love self-expression. I'm sure God loves how we all express ourselves through our clothes, through our makeup. Um, it makes everybody different, but we can't identify ourselves with something that is constantly changing and our looks are constantly changing and something that I've learned recently is that it is so relieving and exhilarating that God doesn't put that pressure on us to convey ourselves our image through how we look in Genesis it says that we are made in the image of God and that the image of God has to do with what we carry inside of us, what we reflect and what we identify with. But sometimes in life or situations like the pains, the heartbreaks and all of that, they distort, I have to sneeze. <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> um, the pains, the heartbreaks, the aches, they distort our image and try to cover up the true us and the true you. And God never intended for all of that pain. What he intended was for us to know who we are in Christ and through him, God knows what we're made of and who we are. But the question is, do we know? Or have we allowed pains, heartbreaks, and aches to distort our image? Honestly, the only way we know what we look like is through the description other people give us about how we look like on the outside or through photos or through looking at our reflection in the mirror. But just like we know our physical image, um, God wants us to know our spiritual image as well by looking into the mirror that he has for us. And in James 1, it says that the word of God is like a mirror. It reflects his image on the inside of us. Ding, 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 there's the connection. God wants us to know that we are made in his image and that there's a spiritual person inside that is far greater, far greater, far greater than the person that you see on the outside. We have all been there. Someone has said something hurtful about our appearance or ourselves and we either walk off ashamed or embarrassed and then we go off with a victim mentality. But you are not a victim. You are a victor because God created you in his image. There are so many opinions out there about what you are, what you're not, what you can and cannot do that if you don't know who you are and what to identify with, then you're only gonna let someone else push their identity and their image on you. When we allow the word of God to put his image inside of us, what we are doing is making sure that our image, your image, not somebody else's image, stays in place. And when we're in the presence of God, we are readjusting and reaffirming our image on the inside. People are always gonna say hurtful things to you. There's gonna be someone who tries to tear you down and tries to say hurtful things to you. But that's just when you stop and think, nah, nah, that's not me, that's not who I am. And you don't have to fight back because the word of God is not about arrogance, it's about humility and strength. It's about being assured in confidence. And still waters run deep and God wants you to run deep. So be still, be with God, and be confident in who he made you to be. But that is it for my video today. If you liked it, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you wanna share your own story, then please do so in the comments down below. I'd love to read them and get to know you guys more. And I'll see you next time, bye. people or photos or our our, our, our I sound like a dog <laughs>